scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it seems but his delight is in the law of God. And don't he may Let him ride through age long situation. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and whose leaves do not wither, but who bears fruit in every season. Two, As you are by listening to me, this message, we believe that your life away, is going to be, be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to be. And we know that your, your sins will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever be we have a lot of content to share with you. Some of you are so we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel of as well as the like us. Hit that notification bell to receive no updates from us. Because we know Run that whatever content here is going to set you on call that every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. before me as an obstacle. Let it give way now. Please lift your voice and pray. While you are praying, Begin to prepare your prayer requests. Please pre prepare your prayer requests so that we'll just do it as one single sweep. Ushers, authorized ushers can begin to move around. And if you are here with your prayer request, whilst we're praying and whilst the ministration starts, do well to just tear it off and pass it, whether in the offering basket or whatever it is. And if you're yet to write, you can write those online very quickly. Lift your voice and pray. We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear See the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing some persons with crutches, crutches. I don't know whether you are inside or outside. If you came with crutches, I'm seeing the power of God moving now. Crutches, whether inside or outside, lift it and try to walk. Lift it and try to walk. I'm seeing a revelation inside outside lift it and try to walk the miracle walking power of jesus is in this place To rebuke I don't know how we'll do it now we'll have two stages look at this look at this lift it up mama my god are you seeing what is happening walk
Mama, how long has this been? How many years? Six years. Six years. How were you walking before? Show us how you were walking with the crutches. Show us how you were walking with the crutches. Just walk. Let's see how you were walking with the crutches. That's how you were walking with the crutches. Now lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk, Mama. Lift it up and walk. My God. My God. Look at there's another miracle here. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look what is happening. Look what is happening. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Miracles are happening in a boy's sake. I decree and declare everyone on a crutch, inside, outside, lift it up and begin to walk by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama, how long are, who is with the mic? Please help us so that we can. Who is holding the mic? Please be sensitive. This, no, not you. It's a man. Mama, how long has this been? Since 2018. 2018? Yes. How were you walking before? Show us how you were walking with the crutches. This is how you came into this meeting. This is how you came. Now lift it up and walk. In the name of Jesus, this that the Lord has begun, let there be a perfection of this. In the name of Jesus, the Lord just opened my eyes. There is someone, I don't know whether it's your neck. You have a problem with you could not move it. I don't know whether you are inside or outside. Check right now, the power of God has just touched you. Check it and run out very quickly. Please celebrate them as they return. Miracles happening by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection over your body. In Jesus' name, let's celebrate them very quickly. We are still praying. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Just, just leave them in the bowls. Please leave them in the bowls first because of the wind. Leave them in the bowls. We are praying. Now, I'm going to minister to people. I'm seeing the Lord was speaking about delay. We are about to pray. For those outside, you may not be able to come inside except if there's a word for you. But please, those under the anointing outside, you will take them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray. There are people here who have been victims of delay. The power of God is about to come on you. Please, those who are up the balcony, be careful. Don't come to the edges so you don't fall. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Ushers, please bring those people out here. In the name that is above all names, every spirit that is causing delay in ministry, in families, I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. At the count of three, may fire fall upon them. One, two, three, take that fire. I break that yoke. I break that yoke. Bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, help them, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Delay. Be broken in the name of Jesus. for individuals this grace is coming on families too nobody has moved forward you want to move forward help her please 
front here, those in front of the projector screen, those following online, in the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I speak to every spirit that will not let you go. We come as those sent. Right now, release them and release their families. At the count of three, go, go, go. Release them, release their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Release their families. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Who is Ogechuku? Ogechuku. I'm hearing the name Ogechuku. You are wearing black. Ogechuku. Please, who is that person? Come. There is still a gentleman I'm seeing. Your, your dress is shorthand like my own. Ogechuku. Who is that? What's, please, let's very. Do we have the mic? Is it working? Help them, please. What's your name? Ogechuku. 
Okay, how about you? I saw a lady who lifting her hand. What's your name? Is that your name? Okay, both male and female can bear it. I want to pray. Oh. I'm hearing a name, author, like author, A-R-T-U-R, or something like that. Author. Also, is that someone's name? Where is that person, please? Quickly, let's just save time. The Lord wants to move in a mighty way right now in this place. I want to pray for you. What do you do? Huh? Business. What business? Provision business. Provision. Yes, I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. There is a grace for wealth that is coming on you. Amen. You believe it? Yes, sir. That's why I'm here. What do you do? Well, I'm seeing you inside a farm. Farming. Yes, what do you do? I'm a farmer, sir. You are a, a farmer. You are a farmer. Yes, sir. I hope you know him. Before you now come and say you are faking farmer. it. Not everybody is faking this thing, oh. There are people who have paid their price with God. Let me, I think I, I need to clarify it now so that you don't think that maybe everybody is... Um... My friend, I want to pray for you. The way God will lift you using agriculture, stand up. It will surprise you. Amen. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I stretch my hands towards you. May grace come on you. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. You go back and you experience empowerment in unusual dimensions. In the name of Jesus. For my dear brother in business, I pray for you. Amen. God will show you mercy. Amen. You will experience increase. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. My dear, where is your dad? He's late. I need to pray for you because I'm seeing the same thing that happened to him. Wanting to happen to someone in your family. I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Where is mama? She's in Ebony, but she's not here. We have to pray. Every manifestation of death that is looking for your mom. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. In the name of Jesus, we cancel it right now. I use this as a prayer for anybody here. If the spirit of death is eyeing anybody's family, in the name that is above all names, we scatter that operation now. My dear, your family members are preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shame and reproach is taken away. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is showing me a vision and there's somebody you are holding photos on your hand. I don't know who that person is. Come. Picture so. I'm, I'm, the Lord is showing me someone now. I need to pray for the person. We have to be fast because I want to pray for the sick. Miracle walking God is at work. Where are you coming from, my friend? From Benway State, sir. From? Benway State. You came from Benway? No. Yes, sir. Whose photo are you holding? It's my wife, sir. What's wrong with her? She was attacked two weeks back. I rushed her to the hospital and God revived her. I need to pray. Do you know what we call Aleku? A L E K U. Yes, sir. This is like, huh? It's a deity, sir. It's a what? A deity. That's why I'm saying we have to pray. Blotting out every handwriting, the Bible says, and Amen. every ordinance that spoke against us, Amen. he nailed it to his cross. Amen. Every covenant you and your wife has with any deity other than Christ, we curse it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is a woman here. You've been married four years. No child. I'm hearing the sound of a child. Four years. Who is that person? Four years. Please don't just come out because you are looking for a child. Hear the specific word. Four years. Is there someone like that? Run. It's time for your shame to be rolled away. What's your name? Hold on, please. Hold on. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What's your name? Nkiru. Huh? Nkiru. What's her name? Nkiru. There's an English name. Juliet. Juliet. This is what I'm hearing. Look at me. Stand up. How long have you been married? Four years. Four years. Is your husband here? No. <laughs> Mm. 
I'm praying for you in the open. Because by this time next year, you are coming back home with a testimony. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Everything that represents barrenness. Let her come to. What's your name? Hold on. Is your husband here? Yes, he's outside. That's why, husband, come. The husband of divine. What's your name? Divine Inima. Come. Where is the please let's hurry up? Let's save time. Is the man here? Hallelujah. You have won the victory. just pray for you we may not be able to wait for our brother to come my dear look at me regardless what the situation is Jesus is Lord don't be embarrassed we're a family are we together now place your hand on your stomach in the name of Jesus Amen. God who is the giver of children the God of Hannah arise in power Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. you're welcome sir thank you thank you for coming I really appreciate you what do you do sir you are a banker. Yes. Are you a banker? Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a banker. What First bank? bank? First bank. Yes, sir. What bank? First bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God lifting you. A very strange lifting. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing you abroad and then coming back and then going back and then coming back. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I declare by the spirit of grace, carry your children and take your increase by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ my sister look at me in the name of Jesus shame and reproach is rolled from your life don't be embarrassed but what is in your stomach now that is stopping a child you understand what I'm saying I take it out of that stomach now Do you know what I'm you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes. Because the doctor told you what he said is right. But in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare a miracle right now. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please return to your seat very quickly. I pray for you. Hold on, please. Who is this? it for me from London that I should go for this program I should go and intercede for her she, uh, the, the baby is an autism patient we have to pray yeah they sent it from London yes that you should bring it for this yes, program yes I actually told the mom that I'm here already she was the one that asked me to come and present Father, it before the Lord let there be a miracle Father, for this our son supernatural healing Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. bring there is one lady and one guy two of them will shout loud under the anointing now please carry two of them and bring here very loud shout to the hearing of everybody please bring them out there's a reason why God is you can go back to your seat God bless you missing. who is this he's missing it's my brother he's missing yes, sir. Your brother or your husband? My younger brother. Your younger brother. How long? It's, it's about three, three weeks now. Three weeks? Yes, sir. He told you he's missing? Yes, sir. He's missing. Huh? Yes, sir. Did anybody call you? He's having mental challenges. Huh? He's having mental, mental challenges. So he's missing. I don't know where he is. No, he's alive. Something came on him and he started walking. This boy is somewhere. He's still within the city. In the name of Jesus, we call him back. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray. God, don't worry, I will pray over this. I'm just responding to what God has said. Where is the gentleman and where is the... In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Young man, I pray for you. Oppression over your family. It comes to an end now. Be delivered now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Eugene, Eugene, I'm hearing a name Eugene, like E U G Eugene. Before I pray for the sick, is there someone with that name inside, outside? Your name is Eugene. Let me just pray for you very quickly. I'm hearing the name Eugene. If you're following online, you can indicate you're following online. If you're in the overflow, you can indicate quickly. Otherwise, we'll just have to rush and then go. I want to pray for the sick now. We serve a mighty God. There's someone with such a name. What's his name? What's your name, sir? Eugene. I will pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing in the spirit. But I will pray either way. Because you have come. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord prosper the work he has given you. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that God will open the eyes of your spirit and the eyes of your heart. That you will comprehend even with in greater dimensions the things of the spirit and the mercy of the lord speak for you and your work Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you but if there's no the eugene i'm seeing i don't know if you are this is like a female this is not i'm not seeing a male i'm seeing a female but we're going to pray how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I'm seeing the name of a church. Something, is it? There is Christ and there's missions in it. Something, Christ, missions. Something, is there someone like that? With the name, I know there is Christ, there is missions. You are here. I don't know the name I didn't get the name accurately but let me know the name because I want to pray for you huh? there is mission What's divine grace Christ based mission international that's your church Christ it means Christ it means ah, I will pray for you it is your church? Yeah. Divine Grace, Christ Based Mission International. Very sincere man, but I want to pray for you. I just saw the name. You believe in impartation, sir? Sure. Impartation is a transference of graces. Sure. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. And I declare, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the grace, for signs, the grace for wonders. May that grace rest on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing four ministers of the gospel, four of you here. There is a very strong healing anointing that is coming on you right now as I speak. Four. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing four people. The power of God will come on you, four of you. You don't have to bring them out. Let's honor them. We don't have to drag them out. Four of them. Spirit of the living God, four of you. Like the dew of heaven, such a heavy unction coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. Rest upon your ministry. Help them, please. In the name of God, my God, please help them so they don't injure themselves. Help this lady.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if this is the appropriate channel to say, but with every sense of respect, Reverend Vindiolu, I just saw something like a plane. It just come and picked you and you just entered into the sky. I believe that you are stepping into a new phase, even in the ministry, the work in Enugu. This is what I just saw in a vision. And Father, we agree over this, your servant, this veteran of the gospel, as you have revealed, so let it be. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shekinah Assembly, step into a new dimension. A new dimension of exploits in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Let's pray for the sick now. Now, because of time, listen please, just hear the instruction. Three things we are going to do very quickly. Number one, I'm going to minister to the sick. And then number two, we'll pray on the requests. And then number three, as we did yesterday, um, I will request two or three fathers alongside the bishop. We're going to stand here and prophetically we're going to speak over the church and the body of Christ in a boy state. Are we together? That everything that is locked up in the grave, that it must come out at the instance of God's voice. And then finally, we'll do the impartation and we're done. We're going to be very fast. Now, please, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, just wave it and the ushers will see. Please, ushers, if anyone is waving his request, quickly, quickly, inside, outside, just get it and bring it out here. Now, lay your hands where you are trusting God for a healing miracle. We are going to celebrate miracles now. This is what will happen. Listen, we don't have all the time, but the moment I rebuke this sickness, I'm going to ask you to check yourself. You already saw miracles happening. For many of you, you will be amazed to see mighty miracles that will happen to you as soon as you check yourself and you find out that there is a miracle. Let's have one or two pastors here. I would request that you quickly run and come. We'll give a few of you room to testify to the glory of the Lord. Then we'll go into the prophetic session very quickly. Please lay your hands right now. You're trusting God for a miracle. Very quickly. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. I believe, Jesus. There is healing in your name, Jesus. We Jesus I want you to agree with me with a very loud amen inside and outside in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every devil behind any infirmity every spirit that is back of any disease in the name of Jesus we cast you out right now by the blood of the eternal covenant we cast you out right now and I declare in Jesus name be healed be healed migraine headaches be healed Ulcers, help them be healed. Fibroids, I command you to disappear right now. Blind eyes, partial blindness, complete blindness. I command those eyes be open now. Deaf ears, be open right now. Bone conditions, you're on a wheelchair. You are on crutches. 
After this prayer, stand up right now. After this prayer, stand up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing people with severe back problems. Severe back problems along your lumbar vertebra. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Every kind of bone condition be healed now in the name of Jesus. Genotype issues. We change that genotype now. Help them please. I'm seeing someone with a lump. I don't know if it's a growth around your neck. As I'm praying, it will deflate and disappear right now. In the name of Jesus. HIV be healed now. Inside, outside, cancers be healed now. The Lord is healing hepatitis B. Someone with hepatitis B, the Lord is healing you right now. Hotness in your body, whether it's cold or heat, you just feel as if they are setting your body on fire. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Now, there is someone the Lord is showing me. Frequent urination. You can urinate in one hour so many times. It's even an embarrassing thing. But right now as I'm praying, the power of God is touching you. You don't have to just drag them out. Please make sure. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out again. There are several ladies, I'm seeing a lump. For a particular one, I'm seeing a lump. In fact, multiple lumps. Your left, the left side of your breast. After this prayer, that devil leaves your body now. Oh yes, it's happening. There is a miracle happening now. There's someone, I don't know, something happened to your shoulder. I don't know if it's an accident or something. And you were not able to move your shoulder very well. After this prayer, I want you to move it now. I'm seeing someone outside. You don't see very far. You can't see light very far. After this prayer, a miracle is happening to you. The Lord is showing me a woman... Your, your menstrual cycle is irregular and prolonged. It can come any day and it can last for no matter how long. This has caused you a lot of problems, weakness in the body. In the name of Jesus as I'm praying, the power of God is coming on you right now. Everyone here who is standing in for someone who is sick, whether they are in the hospital, may the angel of the Lord's presence Go to every hospital in every nation and bring supernatural healing right now. Very severe case of migraine. You wake up with it, you sleep with it, the power of God is touching you right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. From the crown of your head, high blood pressure is being healed right now. I'm seeing a thermometer moving up and down. High blood pressure, be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. In fact, the Lord is showing me someone, even before you came for this program, Going to use the toilet is a very painful experience because it's almost as if you are stooling blood. This is an advanced case of pile, pile. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Now, very quickly, we have just five minutes. Inside and outside, I want you to check yourself. Do what you couldn't do as we celebrate Jesus. The moment you find a miracle, run quickly to the frontier right now. There are miracles happening everywhere. Those coming from outside, if it's for a miracle, allow them. Look at miracles happening. 
Celebrate miracles, eh, boy. Shake yourself and come. Shake yourselves and come. Those coming from outside, allow them. My God. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here? The moment you find yourself healed, touched, please make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. And I'm speaking to a man of God here and a woman of God. What you are seeing happening in this conference, may you carry that same grace to your altar. May you carry that same apatakotoshkeba. Ekrekotesheletekepa. May you carry that same grace to your altar. Come this Sunday, fire upon your altar. Keep coming. Please, someone just verify, check them, and then we'll have a few testimonies very quickly. My God, miracles are happening. Those of you online, connect by faith. Very quickly, we have five minutes. Sir, she has had asthma for so many years. Asthma? Yes. Today, for how long, my dear? More than 15 years. More than 15 years. What happened to you tonight? The pain disappeared. I fell on Completely. Yeah. Run. Check if there's any pain. Run, 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 run. Breathe in and out. Any pain. Come on, boy. He said. Celebrate Jesus. It will never return to you again. I stretch my hands. You are healed. You are healed forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Her eyes have been itching since 2014. Itchy eyes. For how long? Since 2014. 2014. What happened tonight? It's no longer dead. Completely. No longer What's your name? Favor. Favor. May your name speak for you. In the name of Jesus. Those itchy eyes go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Go ahead. Yes, please. Very Sir, quickly. She has been having myopia from birth. Myopia. It disappeared this okay. evening. What's your name, my dear? Mercy Wilson. For how long? She's crying. Oh, dear. From birth. From birth. What couldn't you see? I <laughs> Why don't you separate the people into two so that one can stand here, one can stand here? Man of God, you can stand here and then so that you can just alternate. Look, the lady is crying. See, let me tell you this. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. When miracles happen, it's more than just showing that a man is anointed. It's a revelation of the love of Jesus. And it's a revelation of the power and the might of the Almighty. Are we together? My dear, and right now, what happened to you? My yopia from bed. I was trying to see you. I... You were trying to see me. In the morning, while you were leaving. Give her the mic. Yes, please. In the morning when you were going i had the direction that you just go and look at your face i was begging the pastor to allow me to see your face what, yes what happened now and then when i was praying i just looked from far for the first time in my life i could see somebody from far. my god <laughs> the mighty god i stretch my hands put your hands on your eyes Right now, I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost to your eyes. Perfection. Help this person in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Apostle, this man's hand was broken April this month, this year. Broken but while you pray, God restored the hand. Completely. Yes. Check yourself. Any pain. Do what you couldn't do. Lift it up. Down. Up. Down. Hey, boy. Are you celebrating Jesus? Apostle, also, he came with all, sir. You came with ulcer also. Ah. And the Lord delivered him here. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. You will never go back with this pain again. Yes, sir. This young girl had multiple uh, lump. Multiple lump. Multiple lump. Breast lump. On your neck. Oh, for how long? Since. And now. Check it. No pain. The lumps are gone. Jesus. Everything my father has not planted in your life, in the name of Jesus, let it be uprooted now. Yes, sir. Sir, you mentioned somebody with a shoulder problem. Shoulder been, problem? Yes, for four years. Uh, what's your name, sir? Ebenezer. Ebenezer. How long? Four years. Which one? Which of the shoulders? Check yourself. Any pain? It's gone. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, there are so many miracles. Apostle, this guy here had an accident a few years ago. You had an accident. Could not Where? move the hand now, but could move it after the prayer. Where? Shoulder. Please show Shoulder. Give him the mic. Shoulder. For how long? Since 216, sir. 216. Yes, sir. You had an accident. Yes, sir. And right now, yes, I lift it up. Yes, down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Celebrate Jesus. He will never, never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. So in March, he did evacuation. In uh, March, yes. you did an evacuation. The okay. Pain had been there. Even they had to repeat the process last oh week. Oh my God. And she couldn't see, she couldn't stand. Please give, don't cry. What happened to you? Last week, I have a baby. Use the week. mic. Last week. No, I don't collect it. Just, just, okay. Last week, I was pregnant four months. Then in the dream, I had a dream where I was menstruating. After my prayers in the morning, brought that coming out. I went for evacuation after the, going the process of evacuation. Uh, my waist, I could not sit down. The uterus was... After the evacuation uh, now? Yes, the uterus was burning me. Then I went back to the hospital. They wrote some dogs, drugs for me. Yes. Then I came, I was take, taking it. Something like blood was coming out from my body. Then I went back to the hospital. They sent me for Trasan. And they said they did not do the evacuation very well. That I'm not... I'm, now going inside the uh, theater for another evacuation. But it's not the uh, process we take the daughter. They're going to use machine. To go be the glory, they use the machine. But I cannot sit down. The uterus will be paining me. What even, happened now? If, even as I was coming, I could not say, oh God, I don't want to come back to, to my house with this pain. And I, as I was there, I was sitting there. You were outside? I, yes, I was sitting there because I could not stand. Then as the prayer was going on, I told God, remember the promise thou had. But now I can stand. Ben, can check stand. yourself. Bend down. Any pain? Come on, eh, boy. Are you celebrating the God of miracles? My dear, place your hand on your stomach. According to the time of life I prophesy to you, go and return with your child. There is no power in existence that will stop this prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. God bless you. Yes, you please. mentioned some word pile. Pile. Pile? Yes. How long, my friend? It's been more than a year, sir. It's been more than a year. And what happened to you now? Sir, so I'm here by faith that I know that I'm healed. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? Because I can't actually test it now, so I'm here by feet. Okay, lay your hands on your, lay your hands on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, while you are a spirit, you have a name, and in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare: leave this gentleman now, go now and go forever, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. She's been having prolonged menstrual period. See, prolonged menstrual period. Yes. How long? Till fourth. From, from fourth of this month till today. Uh, it was just it's women that will understand how evil this kind of thing is. And it's been making me very weak. Even I came with a drip. It makes you very weak. Very weak. I came with a drip. Is this mic working? Outside. She came on drip. Oh, you came with a drip yeah. to this crusade ground. Yeah. My God, where is it? The drip is outside. And my spirit was telling me to take it. I said, no, I don't. Run. Any weakness in your body now? Jesus. Jesus. Hello, Madonna. My dear, look at me. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is responsible for this prolonged period that is leading to weakness in your body, we curse it now by the God of heaven. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We may not, my God, there are so many testimonies. We may just take maybe two, two or three, three more and then we'll have to stop so that we can walk with time. Are we all right? But you just wait. I have to pray for everybody. So let's take a few, two or three very notable ones. Yes, sir. Apostle, you mentioned some with eyesight problems. She eyesight. far. Yes. She's here testifying that God has healed her. My God. What's your name, my dear? Tochuku. Tochuku. Yes, sir. How long? Since 2012, I wear glasses. But when I was coming for this program, I, I didn't carry my glasses because they got broken on Thursday. Okay. So when you said we should check ourselves, I opened my eyes and I used to look at the 
the people upstairs and it, the vision was blurry. You couldn't see those upstairs. It was blurry, but looking at them now, they are, it's so You are seeing them clearly. Very, oh, come on. Very, very oh, come on. What are you turning to wine? You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. That's what Jesus is doing in a boy state. It's into the darkness you cry. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. name of Jesus may this miracle remain permanent for the rest of your life yes sir very quickly sir okay. she had hemorrhoids since 2018 and she had she what hemorrhoids okay okay and she had been even oh my god blood, but now she's okay my he dear look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to you not only hemorrhoid but I rebuke depression by the power of the Holy Spirit it will never be part of your life and I declare healing, let it be permanent in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's have one more from here. And this lady, hotness of the body, why you mentioned it. For four years, her whole body has always been hot. But now, each time it comes, it dries me and look as if I'm not feeding. When it comes, it dries her up as if she has not been feeding. But now she is okay. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. This healing, this miracle remains permanent for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. This lady came in here with severe neck and shoulder pain. Neck and shoulder pain. Yes, but why you mention her case? My God. She got delivered. Check yourself. Check your neck, shoulder, any pain. Completely gone. In Jesus' name it remains so. Amen. Permanent. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can we have two or three more very quickly and then we're done? His father went to the village. His father could not walk. His father could not walk. Yes. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. On Saturday evening, he, yes. he was, since Saturday, he has not been able to walk. But while you are praying here, they called him to say that the father, all of a sudden... From the village. My God. What village is that? What's the name of the village? Oincha local government. Huh? Oincha local government. Onicha, Onicha on on government. No matter how far what you are looking for is, if the power of God can live in Boya and go to Onicha, then I declare, may favor live where it is and come to you. May lifting live where it is and come to you. May destiny help us live where they are and come to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. That healing and that miracle remains permanent. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Yes, please, very quickly. Yes, he has been having, his visions are blocked since, two, since he was in now, SS2. Are you noticing that you see, when you see the frequency of a miracle, there is a message in it. Are you seeing that the miracle of clarity of visions, there is a prophetic message in it. This is how you discern miracles. It's not just God is speaking to the body. That he's opening you up to a clearer dimension of spiritual illumination. This is how you profit from miracles. More than the personalities that receive their miracles, there is always prophecy attached to it. If you don't discern the prophetic message, you wasted the testimony. Yes, please. So right now he can see. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, it remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes, please. This young man entered there with heart palpitation. Heart palpitation. Yes. My God. But while you prayed, the Lord set, her, set him free. Completely. Completely. My brother, I pray for you. This remains permanent in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last. Yes, please. Sir, for the past two years, she couldn't hear from her ears. It's like 
Which of them? She says, two of them, as if there's darkness. I don't understand. Okay. This. But now, she can hear. What happened to you? Sir, I was sick. Then, so it developed. Each you know, time, in, honestly, in this, in this small work I've had with God, I've seen all kinds of situations. One time I was in a crusade in Shiroro. It was a PFN crusade. And that was the first time I saw such a dramatic manifestation of evil. There was a line of at least, I hope I'm not exaggerating, 12 or 13 women. Every time they give birth in that region, they become deaf and dumb immediately. Like a child comes out, immediately you can't hear, you can't talk. I prayed for a few people and I noticed it was a trend. The pastors were trying to push their members and I said, no, this one is not a healing situation now. Whenever you see a widespread occurrence of a deficiency, there are spirits, controlling powers that are making this happen. Put your hands, both of them, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. I speak to those ears. Even as they are open now, they remain opened in the name of Jesus Christ. They remain opened in Jesus' name. Now, for all who have received a miracle, I sincerely apologize because of time. I know you would want to testify, but whether you are in here or outside, many following online, in the name of Jesus Christ, these miracles that you have received, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, they remain permanent in Jesus' name. They remain permanent in Jesus' name. They remain permanent in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Very quickly, please, let's rise. Everyone, let's rise. Bring the prayer request now. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Please give it to us, media. We're about to pray. Please turn it. please make sure you are very spiritual inside and outside let your gaze be on Jesus as we pray Philippians chapter 4 media we still together Philippians 4 and verse 6 let me just quote it for time's sake the Bible says be anxious for nothing Many versions say be careful. The word care there does not mean responsibility. It means anxiety. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. It says let your request be made known. Don't assume God knows it. Let your request be made known. Let your request be made known. Let your challenges be made known let your desires be made known mark chapter 11 when you read from verse 24 it says verily verily i say unto you what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it we receive in prayer then we have it as a manifestation you cannot have what you have not received. You must receive. Then you have. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly for the sake of time. I believe that God answers prayers, number one, from the authority of scripture. I believe God answers prayers because we have patriarchs that have gone ahead of us. And their lives are proven that God is a prayer answering God. But I believe God answers prayers because I have a covenant of answered prayers with God. The Lord granted me the privilege and the grace. Not very long ago. To be alone lying down and crying in the prayer room of Daddy Jew. Our father, Papa, Adeboe. And when I lay down there, there was only one prayer. I said, Lord, the covenant of answered prayer that you have with this man, 
for the sake of the generation I am sent to, may that same grace and may that same mantle come upon my life. That was my prayer, not just for myself, so that we can have real results in the body. We can have genuine testimonies. My altar calling you, oh God, my sacrifice is calling you, oh God, my worship is calling you, oh God, take my prayer. Even when we prophesy, we see in part, and so we prophesy in part. Even when we teach, we only teach according to the measure of the grace that is given to us. Your prayer request here is the most accurate expression of your needs and desires. And as I bow my knees like Paul would do over the church of Ephesus, I just want you to stretch your hands here and let's agree as a family of faith. The body of Christ in Eboi, the body of Christ in the east of the Niger, Lord, arise in power. Visit this request. You don't have to kneel. I will do the kneeling. Or you just stretch your hands and let's pray. Go ahead. Make sure your prayer request is here. Jesus Christ father every request here standing in faith with all the fathers of faith in a boy state standing in faith with all the veterans of the gospel here at the east of the Niger we stand as a united body and we turn every request here to a testimony Every request be turned to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Every emergency situation here receive help from the throne. Every human agent that must be used to make this prayer request be turned into testimonies. We command them to appear now in the name of Jesus. Hear me, anyone who says over his dead body, for these prayers to be answered, may the earth open and swallow them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me. Part of the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic 
and by extension the fivefold ministry is to help the body of Christ attain the unity of the faith please listen to me church of the Lord Jesus Christ east of the Niger church of the Lord Jesus Christ Ebony State the days of fighting one another the days of backbiting the days of competitive jealousy the, great, the days of discussing men before mentees to spite them let's roll those days and let them go forever because it's a new season now listen to me in truth we are not all the same we are equal in Christ but our levels of spiritual sacrifices our levels of spiritual enlightenment alongside the kinds and the dimension of grace that is at work in us has separated us into cadres of possibilities that is true However, in the midst of all the differences, there is a dimension of the revelation of Jesus that cannot be revealed with one man. No matter how accurate you are, it will take the corporate body standing. Yes, I know that there are people here who have character challenges. There are people here who are still in the school of the spirit, going through the refiner's fire to prune them. But listen to me. Younger ministers show profound unashamed honor to the fathers of faith within your city and within the region do not be part of the ignorance and the childishness sweeping the body of Christ where you tear down men of God do not be the ones to injure wounded soldiers when our soldiers fall we must stand by them with honor we must stand by them with joy we do not only rise together we fall together that is the spirit of unity Don't go around gossiping and speaking about another man of God. Don't use your pulpit as a platform to tear down people. If God has shown you a measure of light, let the body benefit from it. Whoever criticizes you, no problem. Leave them with prayer in hope that God will open their eyes tomorrow. Let us help one another and stand as a united force. It is true that together we stand. It is also true that divided we fall. Let the younger generations that are coming not mentor rubbish from us. Let us be careful what we are teaching these people as they come. Do not teach them that dishonor is profitable. Do not teach them that indiscipline is profitable. There are protocols and patterns in this kingdom. We must pres preserve the ancient landmark. Let's be honest to tell them how the power came upon us. Don't over pamper them to the point where they become powerless. Let them fast. Let them pray. It does not kill. Younger ministers, don't admire a man of God's current result alone. Find out the process and go through that. Don't sit down, lying down on cars, claiming them. No, faith is not foolishness. Trust God for grace. Grow with dignity. Grow with diligence. Those of you who serve in ministries, don't cause pain to men of God. Serve with all your heart. The leaders may not be perfect people. But can you endure for the sake of what is before you? Don't serve a man and laugh and say, yes, sign the open. And behind you are saying, God forbid. If your pastor is not working in the way that you think should be, your first assignment is to protect him in the place of prayer. Lord, open his eyes that he will see. These are instructions that help the body within a territory to stand strong. Are we together? Fathers, in as much as God has helped us to be great men, let us not spite the younger ones. Because sometimes in a bid to show all their immaturity and spiritual tantrums, a father is one who is prepared to receive a lot of nonsense from children. That's what makes you a father. They will disobey, they will rebel, they will be childish, they will discover their mistakes tomorrow, they will come back again. That's what makes you Abba. The maturity to be able to endure all those blows and still have love. We must create a platform for people to also rise. We are not the only ones that God called. There are still many others coming. And hear me. 
to those who are about to start ministry many of you are still in the cave of Adula stay there with honor don't allow anybody graduate you from the school of the spirit prematurely just because they call you to lead a prayer just because you were invited to sing in a crusade when you are done rush back to that cave and remain there and John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing are we blessed the body of Christ in a boy state must begin to grow and contend for light. Prayer ministries, don't fight ministries with excellence and administration. Ministries with excellence and administration, don't fight teaching ministries. Power ministries, don't fight ministries that are called to do certain things that you feel are of lesser value. Everybody in the body of Christ is important. Because of the charismatic manifestation of the gifts of the spirit, we may seem to esteem others more than others. But it is only from the lens of God's heart we really know those who are great in this kingdom. It is not really the Joshua Selmans. It is the silent intercessors that we don't see them on TV. They are the ones that carry greater weight in the spirit. We must be matured enough and unashamed enough to not only know this, but let the body of Christ know this. That we who stand and seem to pioneer dimensions, are only products of the mercy and the grace of God. We must be unashamed about advocating that mercy. Let the younger ones learn well. Let's not be afraid to rebuke and correct them. Don't feel insecure. They deserve the discipline that makes for mighty men. Are we together? At this juncture, let me invite the fathers. Two or three as a representation of the church in the east. We are going to stand here have been the fathers are going to declare and call upon the God of heaven that there will be blessings upon the land that there will be increase we pray during the minister session are we together now please while we do that receive with all your heart even if the father happens to be your brother forget the issue of relationship now and focus Elijah said if you see me as I'm taking off Hallelujah. Please let's welcome the fathers that should be here. Let's honor them. And, and the mic, quickly please. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, bless you. Let's honor him, the chairman of PFN here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Now, watch this. Listen, please, everyone. We are going to give them the mic and they are going to pray. Now, there are other men of God. I hope you know that. This may not just be, there are other fathers, there are other veterans. Some are not even seated at the minister's seat. Some are outside. We honor you for what you stand for. This is just a representation. It is not to ignore your grace. We are not foolish. We know there are prophets, there are apostles, there are veterans of power seated and scattered here. Bringing people out is by no means demeaning you. It's just for the sake of time and because of the prophetic acts that we have to do. However, please for the first time, if need be, let's hide our differences and receive as one body. Keep the differences, revelation here, you believe this, you don't believe this. Jesus wants to move again in the east of the Niger. He wants to move again in a boy state. Let's give him room to find expression. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for visiting us at such a time as this. Father, we pray that every prophecy you have released concerning the kingdom work in the east, that we see them come to pass in our lives. The eastern gate is open for this movement, for the prophetic move. For the apostolic move. Amen. For great impact. Amen. The eastern gate is open to the miraculous, to signs and wonders. From today, signs and wonders will accompany our ministry. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. Because according to your design and purpose, 
in this period, this season, you have looked upon Nigeria and upon Southeast and you put your focus on Ebony to steer up a revival that will steer the East, steer Nigeria and steer Africa and move the whole world to a new dimension. Let that work begin now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let the grave open and let the resurrection power move mightily. Push young men, push young women, move them into their destiny. Let our eyes be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Most high God. We have been crying for revival. We have called upon you in this land. That the time for visitation must come. Many of your true servants have labored with no proof or result. Many of your true servants are discouraged. Now you promised me, Lord, that the ark will come into the house of Obed Edom. When I heard your servant, apostle is coming into this town. You told me the ark has come. That this city and this state will never be the same again. Father, every prophetic utterance that has been released through his own mouth concerning this land, we join our faith with his to declare it is done in the name of Jesus. Your state it will never be the same again. The fire of revival has already been ignited in you. This fire shall burn and proceed beyond the states in the name of Jesus. You told me that out of this conference, arrows will be shot in different dimensions. Not just within the church, but into other sphere of life. That the art of this conference, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years to come, people shall say, it was in this place that Jehovah, they were shot like arrows. I therefore stand as their son, as their servant, to declare that a new dawn has begun in this land. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered into the mind of anyone. What you have already done in our midst. That we shall live to see all these things come to pass. In Jesus supernatural name we have prayed. Amen. I stand on the efficacy of their prayers pray on this platform. From us on the platform and from you all on this side. I stand on the scriptures the word of God. Revelation. Chapter 3. Verse 10. Hear the word, Eboi. Hear the word, shout east. Because you've been obedient to the word of my patience. Because you have followed my word. Because you heeded my word. I will keep you. So says the scripture. I will keep you. I will keep you. 
in every hour of temptation. Lord, fight our battles. Lord, disgrace whatever that tries to disgrace us. Oh Lord, may doors of ministry open to us in this land of faith extending to the rest of the states in the name of Jesus. By the word of God we declare surplus in our land. All those that imagine that we will cry, they will be disappointed. Good is coming to you. Promotion is coming to you. The reign of miracle is yours. People, people of God from all over Southeast, raise your voices and shout the loudest amen of tonight. Amen. 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 So let's honor our fathers. Thank you, sirs. Thank you. Let's honor them as they quickly go back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, you can come. Just pack this. Now, I just want to pray just a few minutes and we're done. One of the things that must happen in every meeting is that there must be men and women that God will raise, God will empower. We had an anointing session in the morning for the pastors, but it's important that when we come to a land like this, haven't spoken, there must be a deposit of divine grace that will enable the body of Christ to make progress. This is why God anointed us and our fathers have spoken. I hope you know that this meeting is not just for a boy in state. This is one of the prophetic pointers towards the southeast. God is speaking to the southeast. This will not be the only meeting. There will be many more stationed across several regions of the southeast. And God will be speaking to the southeast. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your realm. Will you show us the ancient path? Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. You don't have to bring anybody out as I pray. Our fathers can please remain seated. They've been standing for a long time. Let's honor them. But in the name of Jesus, the grace for prayer. There are dimensions of prayer that you must trust God to step into if you really want to do much with God in this season I stretch my hands by the privilege of the election of grace that altar of prayer may that grace come upon you now shout amen may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now the grace to fast, the grace to pray. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 3. Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he said, how that by revelation, he made known unto me the mystery. Listen to me. There are certain dimensions of revelations you don't study. It's a body of truth you are initiated into by the Spirit. 
no matter how studious you are there are things you cannot see until you are shown in the name of Jesus the grace for revelation access to life take that grace now access to light in the name of Jesus Christ just help them there are prophets that must arise in this city I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands as the sword of the spirit inside this auditorium and outside help them everybody called into this grace hear that clarion call arise by the power of the Holy Ghost my head thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed with fresh oil men and women the eyes that see and the ears that hear shalakata bakata the eyes that see the ears that hear the lord is showing me an eagle moving across this auditorium my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh Every altar, ministerial altar in a boy state that has gone cold because of discouragement, has gone cold because of weariness. We set every altar on fire again. Amen. There are those of you who are called into the evangelistic. But because of fear, will God confirm my words with signs following? I declare, carry the grace for evangelistic fire. Amen. There are women that will arise in this city in the order of Deborah. There are women like Anna the prophetess. There are Esther's. I stretch my hands. Every woman that has a prophetic assignment in this end time agenda, whether you are inside or outside, the grace for God's prophetic assignment on you, take that grace in Jesus' name. There are kingdom financiers that must arise in this season men and women that will be trusted with the wealth of the kingdom for the sake of kingdom come i don't know where you are you may be a businessman you may be a politician but i stand before the god of my covenant may the grace that lifts men financially for the sake of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now If there is any pastor here who is under attack demonic attack to kill your ministry to make you a reproach in the land we call upon the God of mercy as the body of Christ may mercy speak towards your life Amen. I pray for every church every prayer group no matter how big, no matter how small, every prophetic and apostolic platform, every arm of spiritual expression, as far as it supports kingdom come, let fresh fire rest on those altars. Amen. Hear me. The controlling powers over the spiritual territory of Eboi, I come by the role of the apostolic and the prophetic. I speak to gates and altars. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up, O ye ancient doors. The doors that seem to close for the gospel. The doors that seem to close for the advancement of the kingdom. We scatter those gates now. We 
we pray for the government of this city. May God provide wisdom. Amen. May God provide wisdom. Amen. Members in the House of Parliament, politicians, those who represent the people, the grace to walk with integrity. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for every family represented here. By the power of the Holy Ghost, shame and reproach, no matter how long it has been, may it be far from you in Jesus' name. Amen. Every family here that is still into idol worship, that is still into idolatry, may God open their eyes to see Jesus. Amen. Encounters visionary encounters Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. the sound of war may it not be heard within the borders of your city Amen. the sound of bloodshed may it not be heard within the borders of your city Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Hear me. Anyone and any family here appointed to death. That there are yokes and patterns of death. Every year someone must die. Every two, two years someone must die. I stand in partnership with the veterans of the gospel here. We declare an end comes to the reign of evil. Amen. Regardless the man of God, regardless the church, Father, everyone who names your name in this city, use them mightily. Amen. Everyone who names your name in the east of the Niger, use them mightily. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray, may a boy never lack men and women who are rising and on fire for Jesus Amen. let me pray for those of you who are still in the cave of Adullam do not be discouraged may the good hand of God continue the training for you Amen. grace and discipline to stay while being trained in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. the mistakes the fathers have made you will not make Amen. The mistakes we have made you will not make Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. finally we pray let there be such a wind of revival listen from the length the breadth the east the south the north of a boy state once again May the fire that some of you have not even seen in a long time, may that fire return again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And let me please pray. There are men of God here who travel from everywhere. Oka, Onicha, Enugu. Men of God who are not domiciled within the land, but they have come to stand in partnership. This is the clearest expression of the unity of the faith. In the name of Jesus, the same fire, the same grace, the same support. Amen. Let it follow you back to your station. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. And like our fathers have declared, like they have prayed, may nothing disunite the body of Christ in this city. The grace to look beyond your weaknesses for the sake of his majesty and only focus on Jesus. May that grace be released on you. Amen. Let's pray for the students. There are students here. The grace to not join cult groups, useless vices that destroy the lives of great people. We, we put a seal on you and we separate you from it. Amen. Every student here, the grace to finish strong. 
Amen. All the institutions of learning around, those who are in final year, we release grace, the finisher's anointing. Finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, everything you desire to do in a boy stage and everything you desire to do all across the East, we stand in partnership as we wrap up this conference in partnership with all the vessels here present and connected by faith and we declare Maranatha, come in the name of Jesus. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.